everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're looking at a new game that comes out in the market today. It's called Saws. Uh, think of it as a little bit space adventure, a little bit first person shooter, a little bit tower defense, all wrapped up into one cool package, and that's what you've got. Uh, you might have seen previews of the game floating around on the internet if you're a big game freak. They've, they've been out there, the people that build it have been talking about it. But now we get to you know show you a little hands on with it. A uh, quick look at the you know the settings. They're called extras here. Visual quality. You've got better and faster. That makes sense. You push better. The better it looks. The better hardware you need to run it. You push faster. It doesn't look quite as good, but it runs faster on on less hardware. So we're going to go ahead and put it the whole way up. You've got stats to show the statistics for the games you've been playing and. Pardon all the smudges, you'll see why they're there. This is just too fun not to play. But it tells you the enemies killed, rounds fired, time played, distance walked, and the money spent. Uh, as far as money, let's go back and we'll jump in here and see about money. Uh, they've got a shop. Some of it uses real money as an in-app purchase, and you know, that's fine. A lot of people love those, and there's nothing wrong with it. But what's really cool is most of the items in the shop, right now we're looking at Gatling guns and miniguns, you buy with, a, they call it P, it's like a coin or a crystal that you collect during the game. What's really, really nice, now while we look at the shotguns, none of them are so expensive that they're unobtainable. Uh, I've been playing this for a couple of days and I've been able to buy what I think are the best weapons and that really makes the game funner when you can get the good stuff without spending your hard-earned cash. So, we've got lasers here. I've, I've, this, this time I'm, I'm using two lasers. I've got them equipped there. Uh, you go to inventory, you can decide what you want to equip and where. Let's go ahead and I'll put a minigun in one hand. That way, get back here, hard to see through the camera. That way you can see how both of them work. Now let's head into the factory and kill some monsters. Uh, it's a dual joystick game, that's why the corners are so smudgy. This one moves you. That one fires. Uh, you can see these arrows, that's where the monsters are. You can fire while you're moving. And you see they each dropped a, a little thing here. You run over it and that increases your points. Let's move up here real quick. Crystal under attack. That's the idea of the whole game is to protect this crystal. Uh, you have to be careful when you're using the Gatlin guns. They will shoot the crystal. That took me a while to get used to, but you know, that's understandable. You're shooting bullets. Kill some of these, get them out of my way so I can show you the turret, which is the tower defense system. Uh, you can choose from a minigun, two different styles of rockets or a laser. Let's stick a rocket in there. Uh, you can upgrade it. The flashing screen like that is normal. Freaked me out the first time I saw it. But when you're under heavy attack, it gives you a visual clue and you know shows you like that. Makes your screen jitter and gives you some neon colors. Let's get in here and save our crystal and collect our money. Uh, you get you know a little bit of money. You need about. 1200 bucks to buy the cheapest thing and you can see it doesn't take that long to get it the things that drop are range in value from you know 20 to 50 bucks so you can get your $1200 to buy the light gauge laser relatively easily which yeah, makes it fun the, the whole game in itself is challenging especially at the beginning before you get the good weapons but uh, even after that it's hard enough to remain fun but not so hard that you just sit there and die all the time, which to me, I just don't have a lot of fun doing that. I, I can't just bear to sit here and let them kill it, but I need to let you all see that anyway. So this is what happens when you die. Oh, it's just, it's horrible hard for me to sit here and lose on purpose, but go for it, guys. Destroy my crystal, and boom. My score this time was a whopping 120 points, uh, minus 120 points, but, you know, it's not hard to get a relatively decent score I'm sure give it a week and some of you guys will be scoring in the hundreds of thousands like you do on games we just wanted to give you all a quick look at it uh, one other thing I want to show you you've got I was playing in a you know survival mode it's you, you pick the spot and the monsters just keep coming it's also got campaign mode 
where you move through each individual level and each one is a little bit harder than the next. You start out in the factory and at level one uh, you can see we're dealing with two monsters at first instead of 20. Other than that it's the same. You've got your turret down here. We'll go ahead and give it that and you've got your weapons the same thing. Same shop and inventory. Everything else is identical. Back to the game. <coughs> it's a load of fun. We will have a download link in the post. Be sure you check it out. And uh, we'll have fun playing it. I'm sure you'll have fun playing it too. Oh, get away from my crystal. And I will talk to you guys later. I've got monsters to kill. Bye.